Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are fine and enjoying your online classes. Dear students, today we will solve our page number 19 from our English Grammar Today Book 3 and our topic is Singular and Plural Nouns. Students, let's discuss our objectives first. You will be able to identify the use of singular and plural nouns. You will be able to change some singular nouns into plural nouns and use of adding es to make plural nouns. Student, we will further discuss <coughs> nouns singular and plurals. Students, a noun can refer to one or more than one person, animal, place or thing. As you can see in the picture, a noun that names one person, animal, place or thing is called a singular noun. So students, a one person, one animal, one place and one thing, they are singular nouns. One boy, one cat, a house, a flower, they are all singulars. A noun that names more than one person, animal, place or thing is called a plural noun. So as you can see in the picture, if the person or boys are more than one, then they are boys. More than one cat, cats. More than one house, houses. More than one flower, flowers. It, students, you can see when it is plural form, we add s in the end of a noun. But sometimes we add es to nouns that end in ch, sh, o, s, double s, x and z to get their plural forms. For example, ostrich. It ends in ch, ostriches, plural form. Dish, dishes, because it end in, ends in sh, mango, mangoes. We are adding es, bus, and the plural form would be buses. Like princess, princesses. And same as fox, it ends with x, then foxes would be the plural. Quiz and with Z quizzes. Students, now it's time to solve our activity number N from our Grammar Today book. And uh, as you have, we have discussed it earlier in the video that we can change some singular nouns in plural nouns by adding S to them. Then, as you can see at the top of the page, there is the definition and we add ES to make the plural noun, which ends with S, E, S, C, H or S, H, etc. Students, it's very easy. You have grabbed the concept of nouns, then singular nouns, and then plural nouns. So now what we have to do it in this activity, we have, as you can see, two options. We have two options, and we have to choose one option and fill this blank. Number one, they have done number one for you. There are a lot of boxes in the cupboard. How many dash did you take on your trip? Photograph and photographs. How many dash? Answer would be photographs. Asim drew two of cats. Two. They are telling you the number. Then two pictures. There are three in the neighborhood. Three. Schools. They are giving you the number. Students, you have to fill this blank with the help of these words these nouns number fifth as you can see naima saw bright dash of light coming through from the house yes flashes we kept 10 glasses i hope it is easy for you and and you can complete it easily have fun doing this activity and complete this activity at home thank you students